In this lesson, you'll learn how to work with configuration files in Python. The main idea behind the configuration files is that we don't want to hard code the configuration data or other settings in the file itself. So for here, for example, we have a config.cfg where we store a variety of settings. And as you may guess, there is a separate module provided by the standard library to work with these kind of files. The module is called config parser and thanks to this module we can now write code that can pass and import the data from this config file and we can use it in our program. We start by creating the configuration parser. Parser is an object of config parser class that allows us to, for example, read the configuration file. We pass the name and full path of our config file as an argument. And now once it's been passed, we can use our object to access various data inside this config file. Have another look at this uh, config file. You'll notice that it has several sections. So here we can print the names of these sections, in particular section one and section two. And we can also confirm that it has a particular section by running a has section method with the section name. So it returns boolean true. Let's have another glance over our config file where you'll notice that we have some attributes with some values. So we can now treat our parser as basically a dictionary that contains keys and values. For example, in the config file, we have an attribute use the lightsaber and we can use it as the key in our parser, and we can store the result of passing this config file and record the value for this particular attribute. In other words, use the lightsaber will store the value that we'll get by passing the config file. So we'll make it equal to parser, then we'll specify the section, which in our case is the default section. And then we specify the key or the attribute of that config file. So in this case is use the lightsaber. And to confirm that it is working properly, let's print the value of um, use the lightsaber. And we also want to print the type of use the lightsaber. So on the next line, inside the print statement, we just use type and we pass our use the lightsaber. It returned true and classified the type as a string. And in config file, the parser treats everything, all values as strings. So despite the value may look like a Boolean, so true and false, it still treats it as a string. So if we want this value to be treated as a Boolean value, we need to make casting when we parse this attribute and extract the value. And now when we run the code, the type check returns class bool. But instead of using this clumsy construction with uh, type casting, we can actually use the convenience functions so let's take another attribute, for example, use the force, which has a true, which is Boolean value, and we'll try to extract its value. So use the force will be a variable that will store the value of that attribute, so of that key. And here we use the parser, we specify this section, which is default, but then we can go get boolean. And in here, this is a convenience function. We can pass the name of the key. So use the force. This is the name of the attribute and we print it and we see it returns true. And there are plenty of other convenience functions at our disposal that will find their use in our example. For instance, let's take another attribute, which is the lightsaber power. And the value is clearly an integer. So we'll store this value in 
our lightsaber power variable and as well I'm going to use parser I'm going to pass the section but instead of get boolean we're going to be using get integer and we'll pass the name of that key as an argument but actually let me show you how get float convenience function can be used to accommodate integer values without throwing any errors since float can generally accommodate um, integer values in python so for instead of get int we'll pass it to get float and if we'll print the result instead of 20 we'll get 20.0 and just for the point of illustration let me copy the code we just wrote but instead of get float this time i will use get int and let me comment out our previous print statement so that we won't get confused and when we'll run this code we'll see the value as 20 because this time it is passed as an integer but what will happen if we'll try to get the value that is not existent in that config file so for instance we're trying to access a key that is not there well we'll get an exception and there are a few ways to avoid this kind of scenario first one is to be familiar with the config file and its attributes which is not always possible and the second option is to wrap the parser in try accept block so first we have this try path where we are trying to retrieve the value of a key title from section 3 and print it out but in case it wouldn't work we need to provide also an accept path where we say something like key error so we've tried to search this key and it's not there so we print something like they or no such thing as and then we pass the error so no such thing as section 3 so that way we can catch the exception and act upon it rather than crushing the whole program 